There is literally nothing we can do as millennials. There are no paths we can take to do anything. Going to college is a massive waste of time and there are no jobs. The above paragraph is a lie. I'm earning $80,000 a year and I'm 20 years old. All I did was come up with a solid plan and stick to it. I see too many people my age clocking thousands of hours in video games or binge watching Netflix for entire days or weeks and then whining about how the older generations have fucked us over. It's actually pathetic. Yeah, according to your comment history, you're also Chilean, gay, a student, and earn 500,000 a year. You also seem to spend a lot of time trolling for someone who looks down on people who waste their time on the internet. So are you gonna delete this comment or go delete the other comments that contradict it? R slash quit your bullshit. Yo, what the fuck is up, you buttercup? I hope you're having a fantastic day. Welcome back to another Reddit video. R slash quit your bullshit. It's a place for exposing people who lie about shit and make up stories online just to get attention. Kind of like R slash that happened, except this just compasses all kinds of bullshit and not just fake stories. So let's go and have a look at some bullshit. Inconsiderate youths occupying the disabled seat while an elderly woman is standing right in front of them. Fucking hell man, kids these days have no respect for the elderly or the disabled or anyone. They just think about themselves, they don't care about anybody else around What about the empty seat right behind you? Shit. Average girth, pushing 9 inches fully hard. Cut as I had that condition when I was a kid of a too tight foreskin. Mm-hmm, yeah, nice to know. Was quite surprised when I read a few years ago that the average was around 6 inches. General rule of thumb, if somebody's bragging about how big their dick is, they probably have a really fucking tiny dick. Amazing how it has grown 2 inches in the last 4 months. Does it shrink when you're trying to cheat on your wife? Oh shit. Man just got double exposed right there. Exposed lying about his dick size and exposed as a fucking cheater. Just ran into Harry Styles at the Tigers game and he gave me $100 to get him 2 beers and I took the money and left. Swear to god. I wasn't at the Tigers game. Cool story though. Ooh, that's gotta hurt. Honestly, I don't even understand why people do this shit to themselves. Like if you're gonna lie about something online that includes a celebrity, uh, it's gonna be really fucking easy to prove you're wrong. You're just gonna look like a dickhead in front of thousands of people. I killed a man at age 12. Why would you even lie about that? Why would you make up a story on the internet titled I killed a man? You know the FBI is fucking watching, right? Either way, the guy got exposed and then deleted their old posts. Very nice, very nice. This is what Kenyon Martin said about Jeremy Lin. Do I need to remind this boy his last name Lin? Martin said with a sarcastic face and tone. Like, come on, man. Let's stop it with these people. There is no way possible he would have made it on one of our teams with that bullshit on his head. Come on man, somebody needs to tell him like, alright bro, we get it, you wanna be black. Like, we get it, but your last name is Lin. Uh huh, uh huh, yeah, nothing like a casual bit of racism. Oh and by the way, Kenyon Martin has tattoos of Chinese characters on his arm. HYPOCRISY! When I worked for Amnesty International in the 80s, these were the kind of stories told by political prisoners in dictatorships. You're a grown ass woman whose entire career is based on stories about a nerd who turns people into frogs. Stay out of politics! In free countries, anyone can talk about politics. Try sounding out the syllables aloud, or ask a fluent reader to help. Why me? JK Rowling is not JKing around. That was horrible, I'm so sorry. John Carpenter would have been 70 years old today. We celebrate his birthday by looking back at his five favorite films. Two Rotten Tomatoes. Despite how it appears, I'm actually not dead. How did they manage to fuck that one up? Breaking news, road racing cyclist Lance Armstrong has died. Oh no wait, there he is. Hate has no business here. We respect women, we value black lives, we stand with our LGBT community members, we stand with immigrants and refugees and people of all faiths, we stand with our community, all are welcome here. Except conservatives, Christians, white males, right to lifers and gun owners, you people can go fuck yourself and die. The tolerant libtards of the world, folks. Except that's not the poster at all. Here's what the poster actually looks like. Like, come on, it was a shy effort to begin with, okay? Like, look at that text. Not only does it not even begin to line up with the poster itself, 
the text doesn't even line up with each other. You really didn't even fucking try on this one. One out of ten. Shy effort. Media not covering this. In Rio de Janeiro, protesters demand president to resign. CNN, Bloomberg, Washington Post, CNBC, Reuters, Los Angeles Times, Boston Globe, The Atlantic, Huffington Post, Globe and Mail, Mirror, BBC, Financial Post, The Guardian, Japan Times and Xinhua. Fuck you! So, let me lay out the scene for you. A guy is texting a girl. Guy asks the girl for pictures. Girl sends this. You've probably already noticed where the girl went wrong. Are you stupid? I'll be my dick to Mia Khalifa twice a week. Fuck type of fool do I look like to you? I've never been so disrespected in my life. She looked up a picture of a hot porn star who just so happens to be the most famous one in the world. Why would you do that? Like if you're gonna catfish someone, don't do it with a porn star, cause 9 times out of 10, they're gonna recognize that it's a porn star. Hey Jacksonville, we can't wait to open our doors to you and your family. The American flag is supposed to be flown higher than any country's flag here. Hi, our flags are flown according to the United States Code. When flags of two or more nations are displayed, they are to be flown from separate staffs on the same height. The flag should be of approximately equal size. International usage forbids the display of the flag of one nation above that of another nation in time of peace. I don't even care that they're Swedish, cause Mr. Blue right there just got absolutely fucking decimated and I am so here for it. American flag higher than any other country's flag. Peace off. Learn some fucking tolerance you racist cunt. Here's a picture of my uncle from 1978. Here's a comment from the actual guy in the picture proving me wrong. Ah, and he would have gotten away with it too if it wasn't for those meddling kids. Brand new inbox, never been worn, not my shape. I I mean, you didn't even try on this one. You're wearing the fucking glasses in your profile picture. Fucking imbecile. I'm getting so tired of privileged men claiming fat shaming is an agenda issue because they experience it too. Not only do you not experience it anywhere nearly as severe as women do, for men it's by and large a choice. The female body is genetically predisposed to store more fat, so no matter what we do, being fat is a genetic default for many women. To tell us to simply eat less or to move is literally shaming us for something we have no control over. Men on the other hand don't have that genetic makeup. When you see a fat man, you see a lazy man. How about no? You do not have a genetic condition, you're just lazy. Doctors have been telling you that for years. Mom doesn't have fat genes, their sister doesn't have fat genes. You're the only fat woman in our household. Like you could have even said that you have a condition that makes it difficult for you to lose weight, cause those actually exist, you know, that would have been fair enough. But no, you just decide to make up some bullshit biological shit about how it's because you're a woman. I don't think she thought this one through at all. Name an instance where a woman has declared war. I'll wait. Elizabeth I, Queen Anne, Maria Theresa, Catherine the Great, Margaret Thatcher. Whoop, there it is. Puerto Rican here, living in the US though. Thank you Trump for sending this hospital ship to us. Much appreciated. Weird, in another post you said you were Indian. So you know, he's been caught lying on the internet. I guess that's it for him. He's just gonna piss off for now. There's nothing he can really do, but wait. What if he were to log into a different account and pose as a different person and that way try to excuse himself? Yeah, that sounds like a great idea. Except he did it with the same account. <laughs> He tried. When NASA first started sending astronauts into space, they realized that the ballpoint pen would not work at zero gravity. A million dollar investment and two years of tests resulted in a pen that could write in space upside down on almost any surface and at any temperatures, ranging from below freezing to over 300 Celsius. When confronted with same problem, Russians use pencil. <laughs> In early years of spaceflight, both Russians and Americans used pencils in space. Unfortunately, pencil lead is made of graphite, a highly conductive material. Snapped graphite leads and particles in zero gravity are hugely problematic, as they will get sucked into the air ventilation or electronic equipment, easily causing short soul fires in the pure oxygen environment of a capsule. After the fire in Apollo 1 which killed all the astronauts on board, NASA required a writing instrument that wasn't a fire hazard. Fisher spent over a million dollars of his own money creating a pressurized ballpoint pen which NASA bought at $2.95 each. The Russian space program also switched over from pencil shortly after. 40 years later, snide morons on the internet still snigger about it, because snide morons on the internet never know what they're talking about. You freaking moron. Trust me dude, Twitch hates everyone. They banned me like 7 different times for absolutely no reason.
You stream porn. Absolutely no reason. Wait a minute, porn is against Twitch's guidelines? Well, fuck. Where am I gonna get my porn from now? Hey, Starbucks. Instead of hiring 10,000 refugees, how about hiring 10,000 veterans? We're very committed to hiring veterans, Mark. We've set a goal to hire 10,000 by 2018, and we've already hired 8,800. Let this be a lesson, kids. Fact check your shit before making stupid claims on the internet. Also, what is wrong with hiring 10,000 refugees? You're always complaining that they're not doing enough work. Ah, no way, but then they complain that they're taking their jobs. Yeah, yeah, that's it. We have waffles too, but we've also got pie. Does Waffle House have pie? <laughs> didn't think so. Y yes, we have pie. And that just about does it for this video. I hope you have enjoyed it. If you have, sick. And um, I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Also, I have a Discord now. It's really cool. Everybody's really nice. You should join it. Links in the description of the channel banner.